God. Hey guys, it's G from the F Word here to review the TV Tokyo show that Netflix released called Remind. Now, Remind is about 11 girls that wake up with these silk sacks on their head at this elaborate dinner table in this weird room that's got deer heads on it and armor and medical equipment and all sorts of stuff like that plus a lot of rats and their feet are bound in these like boxes that have been constructed right under their chair so they can't go anywhere and they have to figure out why they're there and that's pretty much it now you'd think with a concept like this it'd be a lot more interesting kind of like your who done it everybody's in one confined space and they're trying to figure out why they're there who's to blame do they know why all sorts of stuff they have their cell phones and the wi-fi comes in and out to have our characters come up with another concept the message behind this thing and i'll tell you right now because this is just a review i'm not going to go into too many spoilers but the message is really being a bully is not good and there is retribution to being a bully and not being a very good person, and also the idea that, you know, your actions without a second thought could cause irreparable harm to a lot of other people and ruin other people's lives, even though you think that you're doing the right thing. This whole thing could have been done in an hour, hour and a half, absolute maximum. Hell, this thing could have been just a music video. Honestly, I've seen music videos that boil down this entire thing into one little packaged four minute five minute box whatever you want that gives you everything you need and you can move on with your life it's 13 episodes well one special episode 12 real episodes 23 minutes long and it's just really boring the actresses aren't very good in this and i don't know if it's a matter of them not having much to work with there's only so much i can take from watching a group of people or two people or one person or whatever in one confined space without anything really interesting saw one did it great i really like saw one that had a so much intrigue but it had the outside world working while the inside contained space of that weird creepy gym bathroom thing going on as well but our characters there it, it showed us a little bit more and i think that's what they were trying to go with is not the torture porn aspect of saw because i'm really glad they didn't do that i don't know how comfortable i'd feel with watching i don't know 11 12 year old japanese girl getting tortured i'm really glad they never went with that route i was just really hoping for some just better dialogue just better acting better situation maybe the editing and the story structure and everything could have been a lot better and i think a lot of it going back to it if it was just shortened and tightened, it would have made it a lot more interesting. So I'm not going to go into good and bad. There's some good stuff. It started off relatively strong with the unveil. It was very slow. It built up and all that stuff. Um, the bad I've already mentioned. And the one other thing is, how come I wasn't feeling for these individuals? I felt more unsettled with the idea of being locked into place in a weird, creepy room with mice all over the place with a bunch of people when finding out what we did wrong to get us here than I actually did with the characters in here. I didn't care about a single character except for maybe one. There's a guy that shows up who they think is an accomplice and is kind of an accomplice, but it that his storyline changes that I kind of felt for. I understand where he was coming from, but everything else was just not for me. And that's kind of how I'm going to boil this down. This was not for me at all i just don't know anybody else that i would recommend stuff to that likes the stuff i recommend i don't know if you'll like this so i'm gonna go ahead and say you could probably skip this one and don't worry about it if you are interested and you do come across it let me know in the comments below if you did like it that's totally cool if you liked it at least you got some enjoyment out of the 299 minutes that are here because i sure didn't anyways that's my quick review of remind let me know like i said in the comments what your thoughts are on it if you see it you can find me on twitter at the f word g you can email us at the f word podcast at gmail.com and make sure you're following entertain facts on instagram and until next time i'm g and i am out